what impact would the election of Marine Le Pen have on the EU, NATO, and the war in Ukraine? So let's understand who Madame Marine Le Pen is. She is a, a far right political leader in France. I don't remember the name of her political party. It was her the political party that she heads was founded her by her papa, Monsieur Jean Marie Le Pen. So when I was a little kid, Monsieur Jean Marie Le Pen was the head of the uh, that political party. He was a extreme right winger, far right nationalist. And I believe that in the early 2000s, he, uh, he, he, I think he stood for, uh, for, for the post of president of France on a number of occasions, four or five times. In the early 2000s, he made a very serious bid and, uh, and he came quite close apparently. Right. So that is uh, her daddy, Monsieur Jean-Marie Le Pen. And eventually her father was expelled from the party by his daughter, Marine Le Pen for whatever reason. So it was like an internal coup in the <laughs> dynastic coup within the party. And now she is the head of the party, the president of the party, I think, or whatever the position is. So that in short is who Marine Le Pen is. Now she is a hard right winger in the context of European politics, French politics. She is a hard nationalist. Uh, she is not a front runner for, for winning the election. Most likely Monsieur Macron will win. But in case Madame Marine Le Pen wins this election, then politics will change. Uh, she has expressed uh, her intention of taking France out of NATO. I mean, I'm not sure if she, even if she gets elected, she'll succeed in doing that. But that's what she wants. She wants to bring France out of NATO because she sees, with I think, with good reason, the position of France within NATO as being that of a U.S. vassal state, which actually it is, right? Any country that is part of NATO is subsidiary to the U.S. and under the direct military orders of the United States. So France is the one of the members of NATO. I believe that France is maybe the only member of NATO. It is not maybe, it is definitely the only member of NATO that has an independent foreign policy. And there is a cause of severe friction between France and the, U uh, and the United States. The US, uh, Americans love to denigrate France as a nation of, uh, what What do they call them? Uh, this is not my words. They call them surrender monkeys. <laughs> like you guys surrendered to the Nazis and we had to bail you out in the Second World War. That's the kind of, uh, that's, that's what the French are told and and so on and so forth. So the Americans kind of uh, enjoy taunting the French about this. And uh, so, the, so the French feel disrespected. The French don't like to speak English. Even if they, if they, even if they know English, they will not want to speak English. You go to Paris, people will refuse. To, many people will refuse to speak in English to you and so on. So Marine Le Pen wants to bring France out of NATO. If she wins the election, she may try to do that. I'm not sure how successful she would be. The US would certainly not, not like that. The US and France have had lots of frictions in, in, in the past decades. Uh, the most recent example is the is the aborted France-Australia nuclear uh, submarine deal. Not nuclear submarine deal, but submarine deal. The French had this contract with the Australians. The French would uh, sell the Australians a number of Scorpion submarines. It was a signed deal, a done deal, and suddenly the Australians bailed out of it and they chose to acquire nuclear, even more expensive nuclear submarines from the US, which they will get in the 2030s or 2040s, I think. So they ditched a deal they had signed. The Americans forced them to do that and the French were left holding nothing. So the French were really upset about this. They still are. And they don't like being under the overlordship of the US. So Marine Le Pen if she gets elected, the first thing she would do or one of the major goals she would have as president of France would be to bring France out of NATO. Uh, maybe not out of the EU. The, so the NATO is a bunch of US vassal states. So is the EU. So is the European Union. The European Union is also a softer version of NATO. It's also a bunch of <laughs> American vassal states. So I would say that her first objective would be to 
to bring France out of NATO. I don't see any major effect on the war on Ukraine, but NATO would be shaken up if she comes to power. So that's the major impact her hypothetical election to the presidency would have on the geopolitics in Western Europe.